Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to show you how you can install fonts to your iPhone or your iPad so that you can then use them in the Design Space app. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the App Store and you're going to need an app called Any Font. Now Any Font is free it does have a free version and it has a paid version as well the paid version is about 89 pence i think it currently is that can change but it's normally around the sort of 80 pence to a pound kind of scope and what any font does is it allows you to install fonts onto your apple device so as i say that could be an iphone or an ipad so you need to install that onto your device first the other thing that you need to do is make sure that if you're installing fonts onto your device that your design space is not running in the background because if design space is open or it's open in the background once you've installed the font to your device you won't be able to see it in design space so you have to either make sure that design space is closed whilst you're downloading the font or once it's downloaded, if it's been running in the background, you will need to close it. And you need to make sure that it's not running in the background. So just coming out of design space is not enough on an iPad or an iPhone. You have to actually get your open screens up so that you can see what's running in the background. So in this case, I've got design space running in the background and the app store. So if I just swipe up, it will actually physically close them down. So if I open up any font, there's two ways in which you can download fonts. You can do it via the any font app or you can download them into your files. And I'm going to show you both ways. So the first way via the any font app is that if you add the add button, you can see that it'll take you straight to sites where you can get third party fonts. So I can click any of these and it will take me to them. So I've chosen this font here and I'm just going to select download and it will download it into any font because I have accessed it via any font. You can see in any font that it is now in there. So if I click on it, it will ask me to install. I need to give permission. And then it will tell me that the profile is downloaded. Now, even though the profile's downloaded, it's not actually installed onto my device. I need to go to my settings, general, and then VPN and device management to actually install it onto my device and as we've discussed previously when you install a font you're not installing it to design space you're installing it to your actual device so if you want the same font across all your devices you need to install it onto each of those devices because your fonts never get uploaded to design space design space can access your system fonts from the device that it's running on. So I can close this down. Again, I can read the instructions. So it's telling me I need to go to settings, general, VPN and device management. If I open up my settings and I go to general and I then go to VPN and device management, you can see there it says downloaded profile, which OTF. If I click on that, it will then ask me if I want to install it and I can select install. I have to put my passcode in. It will again give me a message that's just checking sure I want to install it. So I can select next and then install. It will come up with install profile and again I can click install. And this has now installed it onto my device. If we open up Design Space, we can open up a text box. I can switch my toggle to System. So it's searching for system fonts. I can then start typing in which. 
you'll see that my font comes up and I can then write my text in that font. So that's the first way that you can install fonts. The second way is that if I go to a website using my Safari, I can go onto the website and then download from there. So I'm going to download Amsterdam. You'll see it's asking me if I want to download it. And you'll see at the top, I've got a circle with an arrow. If I click on that, it'll then open up the zip folder. And this is saved into my iCloud drive. So this is in my files in my iCloud drive. So if I just go back, you'll see I'm in files, iCloud drive, downloads, and it's then in there. If I click on it, it will unzip it for me. If I go into any font, I can now get that font from my files. So again, if I click the add button, I've got the option of iCloud Drive. So I can click that. And you'll see there we've got the Amsterdam zip. I can click on that. And it's then added Amsterdam into my any font. If I then click on Amsterdam, again, it'll give me the option to install. I can click the install button, give my permission. And again, it's telling me that I need to go to settings, general, VPN and device management. So it's the same method. I can go to my settings I can go to general. I can select VPN and device management. Select Amsterdam, install, enter my passcode, give my permissions, select install and install again and done. If I check, I can see that Design Space was still open in the background. So if I go into Design Space now and search for Amsterdam, it won't find it. So I need to physically close it down. I can open up a text box in Design Space. Again, toggle to System. Search for Amsterdam. I can already see it there. And there we go. There is both of our installed fonts. So just a quick recap, when you are wanting to install fonts onto your iOS device, you will need the AnyFont app. You can get a free version and a paid version. The paid version basically means that you can download bundles and it removes any adverts. As I say, it varies between sort of 80 pence to a pound depending on you know what's going on in the world. You're only downloading onto your device. So if you want the font to be on other devices, you'll need to download it onto other devices. You never upload a font to Design Space. Design Space accesses your system fonts. And you need to make sure that if Design Space is running in the background, that you close it down before you try and find the font because it will not update the system font with design space running in the background. It will not recognize that you have added a new font. As always, I hope this has been helpful. If you've got any comments or questions, leave them below. I upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 7pm and you can ask me any questions in the live chat. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!